So it has been a very long time since I've done a favorites video, probably around two years or something like that. Um, but I'm back with another one and yeah, today I'm just going to fangirl about all the things that I like, so I hope that you enjoy. Number one on my list um, seems just fitting because it's kind of overtaken my life recently, and it is Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is a video game. Um, I don't even know what to say about it really. In Genshin Impact, you are um, a twin. You get to choose if you are the boy twin or the girl twin. I chose a boy twin. Um, and you are a traveler trying to find your twin who was taken by a corrupt god. Um, that is like the very, very basic explanation for the game. I'm not gonna get crazy into it, but the most important thing to know is that every character in this game is hot. I have just been really enjoying this game. Um, you saw me play it actually. I played a little bit of it in my day in life video. So the video game that I was playing there is the same game. Um, not terribly good at the game. My characters are weak as f <laughs> But it's still fun. I'm still enjoying it. And I'm just praying every day that I get venti. And I actually thought it would be really fun to do a, a video of what I would look like if I was a character in Genshin Impact. So I did buy things to put together my own like character outfit. Um, eventually, hopefully, I will get around to filming that. Uh, but that leads me into my second favorite, which is... <laughs> Well, first let me justify myself a little bit, okay? One, as I said, this is something that I bought for the purpose of the if I was a character in Genshin Impact. Um, but also the second reason that I bought them was because it just seemed really cool. Anyways, it is dual swords. And you know what? I'm pretty freaking good at them. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty good at using them. Um, I mean, there's really, like, do you need dual swords in your life? Do you not? But, um, I've been having a lot of fun with these. Basically, while you guys have been doing whatever it is you do, I have studied the blade. And if I get reincarnated into an anime world where I suddenly have to fight for my life, I'm good to go. So, um, on to the next favorite. The next favorite that I have is a candle. Um, this candle right here. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this specific candle because I actually posted that it might be killing me. It wasn't though, so that's good news. Oh my god. It just smells so good. This is the sun-drenched linen candle from Bath and Body Works. Um, when I first got it and I first lit it, I was like, wow, I can't breathe. Um, but good news, I think it's just because I didn't trim the wick short enough the first time I lit it because I, every time after that I have been fine and it smells so good. If you're ever looking for a good like clean sheets, fresh laundry candle, this is the one that you want. It's made with essential oils. Some people say that's bad, but whatever. Next up in my favorites is this plate. It's beautiful. Actually, I should say next up in my favorites is Savers Thrift Store because 99.9% .9 of the things that I own came from Savers and magical things for so cheap. This plate is beautiful, but it actually has a pretty interesting story to it as well. It says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, um, Paragon, Fine Bone China. So naturally the first thing that I did was look up, is Fine Bone China actually made of bone? And um, actually, that's exactly what that means. But 
The interesting thing about this is that this Paragon brand apparently made such beautiful um, dishes and chinaware that the royal family would purchase from them. And so they got this like stamp of approval from the royal family by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, meaning that they provided goods to the royal family. So when things were high enough quality to go to the queen herself, they got this stamp. So this plate is high quality enough to be owned by the royal family. And I got it for $3 at Savers Thrift Store. Anybody who lives in England is probably thinking that was all just common sense, but for anybody else in the world, it's pretty interesting. So another really cool find that I got from Savers is right back there. It is um, an antique coffee pot that I'm using as a flower vase. I guess I should grab it. Featuring my completely dead tulips. Kind of heavy. So it is this beautiful, freaking beautiful, beautiful, wow. It's so pretty. I feel like if I found this at like a proper antique store, it probably would have been very expensive. But I found it at Savers. I saw it in the distance on the top shelf. And when I tell you I sprinted, I sprinted across the store. My fists were up. I was ready to fight. I was ready to throw hands with anybody who tried to get it before me. Five dollars. This was five dollars. I just think that's crazy. Even came with the little candle at the bottom. If I made my own coffee, I would use this as a coffee pot, but I just use a Keurig <laughs> to make coffee. So I'm using this for flowers. So yeah, like I said, majority of the things that I own came from Savers. Home decor, um, this giant um, replica Monet painting behind me, $10 at Savers. Majority of my clothes are also from Savers. Okay, next up in my favorites, we're gonna have some shameless self-promo, and it is my lipsticks. <laughs> but really and truly, okay, I'm not just, I'm not actually just saying this for the self-promo. For the past, like, two years, the only lipsticks that I have been wearing are my own lipsticks, so I just thought that they deserved a spot on this list. Um, right now I'm wearing this one, Cafe Olay. I'm working on some like spring and summer stuff and I'm just so excited. So yeah, there's that. Um, support small business, support two Turkish girls, yay. And I think that that is it for like tangible um, favorites. And so let's get into the media. Um, first up, we have Miraculous Ladybug. And um, I've definitely talked about Miraculous Ladybug before. It's been just one of my favorite shows for like years and years. Children's show or not, it's just freaking good. But anyways, I realized uh, just a bit ago that there was a season that I missed. A season that came out, I guess, in 2020. What was I doing? I have absolutely no clue. So naturally, I binged it. Uh, and it's just so good. It's just so good. And I recently did buy a ladybug costume um, for an attempted cosplay that I'm going to do. But you know, it just felt right. When I put that on, it just felt right. The next show that I'm going to mention is one um, that is extremely popular right now. And it is WandaVision. Um, WandaVision, we all know that I am a hoe for Marvel. I just love anything Marvel. And so obviously I was really, really excited for the show to come out. It met my expectations. It really met my expectations. It was so, so good. I'm not gonna get into spoilers or anything like that, so don't worry. Um, but if you thought about watching WandaVision but then you didn't because you're not a fan of like old fashioned sitcoms, do not let that stop you from watching the show because I personally am also not a fan of old-fashioned sitcoms like 
I Love Lucy, I Drew Jeannie, That 70s Show, Friends. I feel like people are going to be screaming into the void right now, punching the air. But I just never liked shows like that. I always found them really, really boring. But I was going to force myself to watch WandaVision anyway. And so, let me tell you this. It's really only the first two episodes that are like very heavily like old-fashioned sitcom. Once you get to episode three, that is when the like Marvel plot starts. That's when like shit starts getting intense. Um, if you are not like a Marvel super fan and you have not seen all the Marvel movies, um, but you want to watch WandaVision, you have to at least have watched the Avengers movies. All of the Avengers movies. Of course, I would recommend just having seen every Marvel movie ever, but to watch WandaVision specifically, you have to have watched Avengers because that's, I mean, the main characters are from Avengers. If you haven't seen it, you're not gonna have any fucking clue who they are or what's going on. There's little, like, little things um, that have to do with other movies. For example, like, you have Darcy in WandaVision and she's from Thor. You have Agent Wu and he's from Ant-Man. Um, but yeah, as long as you've seen the Avengers movies, you can watch WandaVision. So if you were unsure, there you go. That's what you need. Next up, I'm going to get into anime and I'm not gonna get, obviously I've watched so many. Honestly, I just need to make a whole other anime favorites video again like an updated one so I'm just gonna name the two that have been like my favorites recently um, the first one you've probably heard about it even if you don't like watch anime because it's so hyped right now and it is Jujutsu Kaisen so good it's worth the hype it's so intense the fight scenes are so crazy so beautiful I'm not gonna even get into um, synopsis so just go watch a trailer or look it up or something like that because I'm not even gonna try. The animation style is beautiful. The storyline is great and so intense. Um, the characters are all crazy lovable, all amazing. Highly recommend it if you haven't watched it, but I feel like majority of people have, as they should. The next anime that I'm going to recommend is one that I've actually loved even more than Jujutsu Kaisen, and it is Skate the Infinity. This is a skateboarding anime about skateboarding. Um, it's a sports anime. Something about like sports anime specifically just gets me so like pumped up, so hyped. Animation is so pretty. Um, the storyline is very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a skateboarding anime before. I think this is the first one. The characters are so lovable oh my goodness like i love every single except for knockoff hisoka i love every single character highly recommend um giving this one a watch last up in this i'm just gonna name some of my favorite like web comics because i just have a lot of people asking me lately for some reason and i was like yeah sure i'm gonna name my top three my top three favorite web comics, webtoons, whatever you want to call them. Number one, if you are like into webtoons and webcomics, you've heard of it because I feel like everybody has. It's like the number one most popular and it is solo leveling. Um, solo leveling is crazy. I actually heard that it's supposed to get an anime. I don't know if that's true, but if it does, it will break the internet. Like the art style is so beautiful. The characters are so interesting, just so intense. Um, if you like, like overpowered MCs where they are just so powerful, they reach a level where they're so powerful that bystanders, like people watch and they're like, that's not possible. I love that shit. In solo leveling, you've got like a fantasy world where people go into like dungeons and um, fight off monsters and collect like treasures and, and whatnot. And you've got a kid who like unlocks somehow 
the ability to level himself up like he's in a video game, but he's not in a video game, he's just in real life. But he can like level himself up like he's in a video game, it's so cool. My second webcomic recommendation is um, The Beginning After The End, and oh, this one is so good too. This one is a reincarnation um, storyline. I'm not actually a very big fan of reincarnation storylines because they're usually like, I don't know, kind of weird to me. But this one was so well done. Um, usually I feel like it's, they came from the modern world, like this world, into a fantasy world. But in this case, he came from like a fantasy world into a different fantasy world. Like he was a king and then he was reincarnated into a world with like magic. Um, so you follow him, obviously he keeps his consciousness and now he's a baby. And I, that sounds weird. I just feel like people are gonna be like, no, but give it a shot, oh my gosh. It's so good, he starts training obviously from the time he's tiny and he just gets so strong. It gets so intense. Um, he grows up, he doesn't stay a baby the whole time, okay? So I highly recommend that. <sighs> My throat gets sore when I talk this much because I just never talk this much. The last and third webcomic that I am going to recommend is one that I just found recently, but I'm so obsessed with. And it is called Jungle Juice. It's so hard to explain these. Okay, so like, it's the normal world, but there are secretly people who are like part insect, which sounds really weird, but basically there is this bug spray that came out of nowhere that there was only like a limited amount of that people used and when you used it it would like genetically modify you like if you used it to kill a bug then your body would absorb that and whatever bug you killed you would gain attributes from that bug so basically the mc ends up finding out that there's like a whole community of these like insect hybrid people and he goes and joins them and that's all I'm gonna say. It's just, it's so intense, but it's so cool. It's such a unique storyline. And honestly, I'm learning a lot about bugs. You need facts about dragonflies? I got you. So those are all my favorites that I'm going to mention in this video. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed and hopefully I will be back with another favorites video. Um, not two years from now, but like maybe next month or something like that. We'll see. Anyways, hope that you guys found some good um, recommendations and things to check out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. So stay cozy. Bye.